I just want to know how uh, one would be able to identify their own potential or talent, what to focus on. Currently, in this society, especially in India, I think, uh, not over India, but I think particularly in South India, right from your childhood, the parent situation in most homes, may, there are exceptions, but in most homes, the parent situation and the social situation is such, they're constantly making the child think in terms of what kind of activity would make them survive best, what kind of activity would get them a good job, what kind of activity would give them good money. They're only thinking on these terms. When you orient a child like this, right from his early age, then whatever innate talents he has, maybe there is a Picasso in your, hair, in your house, but uh, now you make him into a doctor, you know, he'll only smear blood on people. <laughs> Simply because right from his childhood he was never allowed to think beyond survival. If you're really interested, if you have children, it's very important, just allowing them to develop. Don't be in a hurry that they must find a job, do something. See, it's not necessary, everybody by the time they're twenty-five, they must have a job and they must be going, they must be married, they must have children. It is not necessary. Different people will mature at different times. If they find their jobs at the right time, if necessary, if they marry at the right time or go beyond it, whichever way, according to their natural tendencies, they would definitely evolve into more complete human beings. You may become an engineer or a doctor or whatever, but uh, a very disturbed human being, not finding expression for anything within yourself. No, maybe you would have made a good carpenter, but now you're a doctor. You can imagine our plight. <laughs> and uh, nothing wrong in being a, being a good carpenter. You can become a great carpenter, isn't it? But such a thing is not there at all. You must become a doctor. If you cannot, you must become an engineer. Now, of course, software. <laughs> this is how they're going, isn't it? They try for medical college, don't get engineering college. Where is the, co where is the connection? If you don't get a medical college seat, you know, Ayurvedic college, veterinary medicine, or at least become a witch doctor, <laughs> but you don't become a doctor, you jump into engineering, where is the sense? That means you're only interested in proving something to somebody, you're not interested in making your life beautiful, isn't it? What is the best paid job? Uh, if they That's what I'm saying, survival, just survival. See, every human being has necessary intelligence and strength to survive in the world. Maybe not like somebody else, but in his own way. But if he is doing something that he cares for, if he is creating something that for which he has a natural liking, then whether he does it on this scale or that scale, he will still be happy. Yes? Now you are doing something for which you have no natural tendency simply because socially you are oriented that way. Now there is a sense of frustration about the jobs that you are doing. You continue of course because you invested five years, ten years in education so you can't go back. You keep pushing yourself, isn't it? It is unnecessary to orient the society like this. Now every ten years the society is shifting its idea of what is the best education. Now there are too many doctors, nobody wants them anywhere, yes? Now people are thinking something else, they thought software, software, half the people were sent back from other countries, now they are desperately looking what's the way. 
I know survival is important. With the kind of overpopulation and competition we have, survival is important. But still giving at least fifty percent of your life open, seeing what you could do, is a good thing to do for children because they live more complete lives. I know many people may not have the means to do it, there are many difficulties, it's not as, e as easy as it is said, all those problems are there. But still, it's worthwhile to make an effort to create a next generation which is little more harmonious within themselves, isn't it? Whatever the effort it takes, still worthwhile, isn't it? For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.